Howdy! In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make simple weather zones in Roblox Studio. So, it's sunny right now, but if I walk under these white trees, it gets foggy, starts snowing, and the skybox becomes a snowy skybox. Then if I walk back from out underneath these trees, it becomes sunny again, and the fog goes away, and the snow disappears. It's really easy, so I'll teach you guys how to do it. Now, to make your lives easier for this tutorial, we will be using something called Zone Plus. It's 100% free, and all it does is detect where the player's at, so we don't have to do a bunch of programming to do that. So, this will be the first link in the description, just make sure you click right here, Zone Plus V3, and get this into your Roblox inventory. Alright, now that you've downloaded that, we are ready to start. So, go to your toolbox, go to your models, and just type in Zone. And you should have Zone Plus. When you click it, it'll be thrown into the workspace. Just put it in replicated storage. Now, before we do any programming, we actually need to make our zones. So instead of workspace, just add a folder, name it Zones. And now I can just insert a part here. And I'm going to name it Snow Zone. I'm going to set the transparency to be 1. Or just so we can see it a little bit, I'll make it like sort of transparent. I'll turn off Cast Shadows and I'll turn off Can Collide. And this is the snow zone. Then for the particles, I'm just gonna duplicate this part, put it up here like this, name it snow, uh, snow zone particles. And make sure you anchor both of these. Now, I just need to add some particles. So I'm going to the toolbox, I'm just gonna look up snow. Well, we'll do it in the here. No particles. And this one right here, it, through my camera, I'll just control X, the snow particles from underneath here. And then I can just paste them in here and they're going up. That's a very easy fix. I'm just going to rotate it like this. And we're good. We have our snow particles. You can tweak them however you'd like. I usually slow them down a little bit, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like this. Then just go to Particle Emitter and turn Enabled to False. And now we're done in terms of our zone. So next we need to get the Skybox. So we're just going to use this default Skybox right here. Control C, copy the Skybox and put it into Replicated Storage. And name it Sunny Skybox. And now we need a Snowy Skybox. So go back to your Toolbox. Look up Snow Skybox. Uh, I'm going to grab this one. Put that into your replicated storage and name it Snow Skybox. And now we are all set to program. So instead of starter character scripts, I'm going to insert a local script. I'm going to name it Zone Handler. And now I just need to add a few variables. So first I'm going to do local player plr equals game dot players dot local player. I'm going to do task dot wait two. And above this, I'm going to do repeat wait until game is loaded and right underneath here I'm gonna do local TS for tween service equals game get service tween service because we're gonna be animating some things I'm gonna get the lighting um that's right here so local lighting equals game dot lighting local zone module equals game dot uh we have to do require game dot replicated storage as zone Whenever you're using modules, you can't just reference where they're at. You have to do require in order to actually be able to use the code inside of them. Local zones equals game dot workspace. Wait for child zones. Then we can just do local. Whoops. Local snow zone equals zones dot snow zones. So we're using the module now. And all we have to do now is do local snow equals zone module dot new and we just put snow zone in here and now we can actually detect if the player has entered on um, this part right here so what we'll do is we'll do snow dot player entered connect function then right here we're just going to type player and we'll do if player equals plur then and basically this little code right here is just going to make sure that if you enter the snow zone it doesn't trigger effects for other players now we just have a few lines of code to write and we can successfully detect if the players entered the snow zone so 
we'll just do TS create for our animation lighting dot atmosphere between info dot new four seconds so it's gonna be a four second animation and we're just gonna change the density to be 0 0.6 so density equals 0 0.6 we're gonna play that then right here we're gonna do lighting find first child skybox and right here we're gonna change whoops yeah right here we're gonna change sky instead of our lighting to be skybox then we're just gonna destroy it then we're gonna do local cloned snow sky equals game dot replicated storage dot snow skybox uh, clone then we'll do clone sky dot parent equals lighting cloned sky dot name equals skybox then we'll just do zones dot snows uh hold on snow zones dot oh we have to put snow zone particles snow zone inside of zones whoops um right here let's see okay we're good now all right zones dot snow zone particles dot particle emitter dot enabled it's true and now this works so if we just go into workspace and test it when you walk into here everything's going to change real quick then when you walk out of here nothing's going to happen because we haven't programmed it yet so let's do that basically all we have to do now is copy all of this code paste it under and instead of player entered we'll just do player exited and then we'll just change it to be density equals 0 0.3, which is the default density. Then we'll just do, we can keep the skybox destroy. We'll do cloned sunny skybox and we'll change snow skybox to sunny skybox. Then we'll just copy this, change it to that. And we'll set this particle to false. And just to make the effect a little stronger, I'll make it 0 0.8. And I'm also going to go here to the particle size and lower this middle one to make the particles smaller because they're obnoxiously large. And just to make them look a little bit better, I'm going to just make it 15 speed instead of 30. So now we can successfully test if this works. So you walk in, the skybox changes, the fog dials it up, and now it's snowing. But if I exit this area, everything goes back to normal and the snow is gone. And that's how you make weather zones in Roblox Studio. Or lighting zones, either way. They both are zones. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe. Or don't do either of them. It's up to you. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to brush your teeth. And take it easy. Bye bye